this is the only non-industrial standard gauge steam engine owned by the National Trust. Or it seems to be. When the London and Northwestern needed a compact version of the 17-inch 060s, it was up to Francis Webb to ditch the tender and slap some big water tanks on either side of the engine. The resulting 062 tank was introduced in 1881, and by the turn of the century, the class totaled 300 members. Despite initial service on goods trains, they were mostly displaced from this duty because of their early fitting with wooden brakes. Thankfully, this was quickly rectified, allowing them to work on passenger services too, including some motor train workings. The addition of a swivelling radial truck under the bunker allowed a much smoother ride for footplate crews than an 060 would have done. The class were nicknamed coal tanks in service, but according to various records, their actual name was the 4 foot 3 inch 6 wheeled coal engine side tank. Bit of a mouthful considering they were anything but pretentious. Number 1054, which was the 250th member of the class, was initially withdrawn from service in 1939, but reinstated for the war effort before passing into BR ownership. And after performing various odd jobs around Shrewsbury and South Wales, she became the last member of the class to be withdrawn, going in 1958. Five years later, she was rescued by a group of enthusiasts, led by the former Shedmaster at Bangor, for display at Penryn Castle. Following nine years on display in the castle, she was then taken into the care of the Bahamas Locomotive Society, who restored her to running condition in 1980. She's often overlooked, mostly because there might be prettier locomotives of a similar vintage, but when you consider she's clocked up more than a million miles in a 70-year career, She's done all right.